Downtown Cleveland was command headquarters for the Obama Army of Volunteers, and one of the captains in this volunteer army is Ohio resident and former Chicago banker Kyle Orban, who helped coordinate volunteer activity. Kyle Orban, you've been working here as a coordinator mm -hmm. uh, of the volunteers at the Obama campaign. How big of an area, first of all, we're in downtown Cleveland, how big of an area does this office coordinate? Uh, this office coordinates all of Cuyahoga County, um, so however big Cuyahoga County is, I'm not sure. Okay, and, and that is at the county where the city of Cleveland? Uh, yeah, the city of Cleveland pretty much is the majority of the county, and we have outlying suburbs, so um, I don't know the number of suburbs, but there's a lot. Now. As we tape this, we're two days away from the primary, so of course it's somewhat of a fever pitch the last weekend before the That's election right. here in That's Ohio. Right. But how long have you been working here, and what kind of response have you had in getting volunteers for the Obama campaign? Right. The office has been here about two and a half weeks. Um, the response for the volunteers is we've had a lot of people come up from, Ohio, or from all over the country, um, and we also have a lot of in-state volunteers. So as we get closer and closer to March 4th, more and more people keep coming in. Um, I can't give you the numbers, but it's a lot. How, how important are the volunteers to this campaign? Uh, they are the campaign, basically. Uh, it's a grassroots campaign, so uh, without the volunteers, Barack wouldn't have made it this far already. So. And uh, there's a map here on the wall behind us. Can you explain what, what is this as an example? What does it signify? Uh, this signifies all the different wards in Cleveland. This is Cleveland proper. So um, when we have volunteers come in, we um, take them to the out-of-state volunteer coordinator, um, and she assigns them to the different wards to go canvassing. So let's say if you go to Ward 1, 2, or 3, it's that, this is going to be your area, and then you would go and meet at a staging location in that area. Um, they would get you the materials. We, we have walking packets and door hangers and things like that for people who aren't home. Um, and you would go door to door and explain um, why, the, why you feel Barack is the best candidate for the presidency in 2008, and you'd give them some, more, some materials and um, express that you would like to have their vote, or Barack would like to have your vote on March 4th. What Are you hearing any feedback? Did the volunteers come back and tell you yeah, what they, the people said? Yeah, the volunteers love it, actually. So um, we need more. Uh, if you can get here within the next two days, we'd love to have you. Uh, but yeah, it's always, uh, people are a little apprehensive at first about going door to door because a lot of people haven't actually done that, especially in this campaign. We're bringing so many people in from, that have been just um, non-political for so long. This campaign is just breaking all the barriers. Uh, so a lot for a lot of people, this is their first time going door to door, and it's a pretty good experience for them. Um, every, most people, the vast majority of the people, enjoy it. Um, now, what are you hearing, if anything, from the people whose doors you're knocking on? Um, from the doors we're knocking on, uh, I mean, it's a it's a mixed response. It depends who they're supporting, because I mean, they're not necessarily just going to um, Barack supporters, so it depends. But um, you know, people are are pretty much open to his message. His message is one that is inclusive and it's about unifying the country so uh, it's a pretty good response. And I know you're not a political ec expert but within the office here you you know of course uh, Ohio is a key state. Right. What is an Ohioan what is it you might have thought earlier on that Ohio would have come after Super Tuesday might might have been insignificant. Right. What do you think as an Ohioan that your state's playing such a pivotal role? Uh, when they actually came to Ohio I was excited for them to actually make it to Ohio. So now that they're here, and now that it's on the ground, and I'm actually seeing it evolve, uh, I think we're going to win, to be honest. <laughs> Have you worked in a campaign before? Uh, yeah, just local campaigns in Ohio. So this is my first national campaign. And what do you do when you're not working on campaigns? Are you still a student? Um, no, actually, I was working uh, for a bank um, in Chicago for a while, and then I moved to Pittsburgh, and I just moved back to Cleveland about two months ago. So. Great. Were you aware of Senator Obama when you were working in Illinois? Absolutely. Um, actually, I was there when he ran um, for the, uh, for the Senate? Senate. Yeah, for U.S. Senate uh, a few years ago, um, and I saw that he had a pretty good following in Chicago. I went back uh, this past summer, and you know a lot of people were talking to me about Barack, and and actually um, I know a couple of people who who are on that who are on the campaign there, and um, you know this really motivated motivated me to get involved.